Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I'll be talking a little bit about the romantic skins and how they may play a role in your activity if you're looking to use Aurora, Yasmin, or Darkstar and considering which one to potentially get. I also do have a question for you guys about this event um, and just kind of want your thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we are in game. We are in day number two, approaching day number three of the Romantic Skin event, right? We already know what the Romantic Skins are right here, right? Dark Star with a Health Skin, Aurora with a Romantic Skin that is Magic Attack based, and Yasmin with a Critical Hit Chance uh, boosted Romantic Skin. So three really good, good female characters that we got here going on. Aurora, in my opinion, is the top skin, um, and of course, Magic Attack is the stat that's getting boosted here. Not only is it a pretty cute skin, right? It looks kind of like uh, she's Blossom, right, from the uh, Powerpuff Girls, right? Um, but interesting, right? So Magic Attack, very, very useful. Plus, she's still one of the top tanks, uh, with Lilith no longer being a tank, really limits your options in terms of using tanks. It just does. Um, so that, to me, puts her in the number one most valued skin for these three, um, if you have Aurora, of course. And then Yasmin, right, critical hit chance, really, really beneficial for a physical attacker. And she really relies on dealing heavy damage. So critical hit chance really, really helps in dealing more damage. Just really a good skin for Yasmin users. I use Yasmin quite a bit now. And I really, really already like the new skin. It's not fully maxed out or anything, but I like it. Plus, I think it looks cool. Uh, Dark Star, right? So health, it's useful. But I think a uh, physical attack here or a armor penetration would have been ideal for Dark Star. Now, let's take a quick look at how these skins factor in to upgrades. So if we look at Aurora and we look a bit here, we can tell that her first skill deals damage to the enemy based on partially on her magic attack. So getting more magic attack means more damage dealt. Uh, we also have the second one, right? Stuns and damages a nearby enemy. Again, more magic attack stat being used. Piercing light. Uh, casts a spark of light, which deals damage. Uh, also <laughs> takes into consideration magic attack. So three of... Aurora's skills take into consideration her magic attack stat. So getting a boost in that stat really, really allows Aurora to deal even more damage and be more effective, which I think is pretty dang cool if you're an Aurora user and if you're, you know, use her as a tank at all, because tanks usually don't deal a whole lot of damage. Some of them do, but, um, you know, Aurora is also capable of not eating shots, but dodging shots, right? So that's always a bonus when your tank can really help your backline heroes and main damage dealers do their thing. So that's why I think Aurora is one of the top tanks in the game, as well as the top skin of the romantic options, if you use her, of course. Um, Yasmin now, right? So Yasmin deals a lot of hits based on physical attack. And I mean, it. you know, she has a skill which allows for her critical hit chance to be raised and dodge to be raised as well which is pretty good um but overall i think with the critical hits that's just going to make her more dangerous she deals a lot of physical damage look at this physical attack that is quite impressive um <laughs> that's really all i have to say is her physical attack is very very good and she has, you know, with critical hit chance, that just means her damage will be greater than it normally is um, on more occasions, right? Because she, had, she deals a bunch of strikes, and those strikes will have a higher odds of having a critical, critical hit. Not to mention, her second skill already gives her a higher odds of having critical hits. So uh, if you're using Yasmin, nothing wrong with that. Just a lot of crits everywhere. Um, then we move on to Dark Star, right? Which is the third skin in priority, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Let's find Dark Star. So here's Dark Star. Health for Dark Star really doesn't 
boost her stats because she's a physical attacker. Um, and, and one of the reasons I see physical attack might be a little bit better for her is she has a decent physical attack, right? But she really can't be your main damage dealer uh, based on her her stats at this time. Um, health, it does help her survive, but she has a decent amount of health already. And as you can tell, I don't have her maxed out, but you can see her health stat does have a healthy amount going in there. So I guess it helps her survive a little bit longer, but I would have liked to be, have been able to use her in a different capacity, potentially as a second damage dealer. Um, I think it would have been, it's, it's a missed opportunity, but I think it, it is a cool looking skin, right? We'll, we'll, we'll have it on here um, eventually because I don't currently own it. So I think that's why it's not popping up, uh, but it's a skin I look to, you know, hopefully own in the future. It's a cool one, but it doesn't do as much for us in player v player situations or when you're trying to um, advance, right? So if we're talking about like in campaign, right? I think I'm more likely to use Aurora or Yasmin than I will Dark Star just because of uh, damage output and survivability as well as the fact that we have a two minute timer, right? If you, if you wait all the way up until the two minute timer expires, uh, you lose and quite frankly, you didn't deal enough damage. So um, those are some factors that might go against using Dark Star in campaign. Normally, Arena and Grand Arena usually want to probably use Aurora and Dark Star as well, and that'll also favor those two in your Guild Wars. But with that being said, guys, I am very curious. This event was interesting because I think there have been times when we get more Soul Stones of the heroes that are being featured. So the featured heroes were Aurora, Yasmin, and Dark Star, and for purchasing emeralds as well as spending emeralds, you could get these boxes, right, which had five soul stones of your choice. Um, now, these other tabs actually had skin stone chests, right, which had, you know, 10 skin stones in them, which isn't bad, it isn't great, uh, but it, it gave you an opportunity to acquire some more skin stones to be able to get a romantic skin. Did you guys like that? Did you not like that? So, that is my question to you guys. Um, let me know in the comments on this video if you do not mind. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the event. I actually kind of liked the skins. It, it, did, it did help me get um, both of the skins that I wanted. Uh, but I'm curious because I know some people were really, really looking forward to getting some soul stones. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in Dominion.